Happy Easter, y'all. So guys, I'm using a 10 by 10 inch canvas. So the first thing we're going to do is that we want to go ahead and click on our adjustment, add a solid color, and we're going to choose something in the reddish tone like that. Go ahead and click OK. Now with these resources that I have, I have already generated a background that we are going to use. So this is a PNG and I'm just going to drag and drop it in. Back in the resource library, I have this file that contains three images. We are going to click on this one, the paper, and we are going to drag and drop it in here. And I'm going to go ahead to just scale it like that and set it in place somewhere like this. And I'm going to zoom out and we are going to make it big so we get rid of the pieces on the top and bottom. So you have something like this. Now, the next thing we want to do is head back to our resource library and we are going to drag in this subject. And I've taught you how to take off the background. So click on the image, go up to your property, you will go up to your property and go look for quick action. Now, if you don't see quick action, make sure that you click on convert layer, uh, convert to layer. So you want to say yes. Once you are able to do that, if you go back to your property, you will see the quick action button. Now click on remove background and Photoshop will take off the background of your image for you. Now we want to go ahead and move our subject in place now you can scale your subject down or up and you can set your subject in whichever location you want we want to get rid of the layer max so right click on your layer click on apply layer max go under your adjustment add a new layer max pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black we all know black hides white reveals use your left and right bracket to increase your brush size and just brush and blend your subject in like that. So with your subject in place, we want to go ahead and pick up our type tool and we are going to use the Belladonia and I'm just going to go ahead and type in, highlight the font and go under your property under type option, uncheck the double T. We want to go ahead and scale it like that. Now we can highlight the whole thing, flip your color so that you change the font color. Now we can highlight just um, the E and we can go ahead and change the color to let's say a red. Now we can add a drop shadow, double click on your font. It brings up the layer style, add a drop shadow. Now you can click on your drop shadow and increase your drop shadow thickness. You can also increase your opacity so that your drop shadow pops a little bit more. And we are going to go ahead and use the Gothic Sentry Pro and we are just going to type in, fill this down and we are going to set that right there. Press, you can bring in this bird and set that right there. Make a copy, Command J. We are going to move that and set that below, something like that. Pick up your type tool and you can add Sunday service. Type in the church information. So you can highlight the name of the church and you can open up the spacing by going under your VA. So once we have this, let's say that you want to go ahead and type in the address. You can just basically make a copy of your um, top information and you can basically go ahead highlight and make this bold we can go ahead and increase the font so the next thing we're going to do is to add in the date and time now we can go ahead and select the font make a copy and we can basically add in the time of the event and we can go ahead and make it a little bit bigger like that so to finish it off, we are going to double click on our Easter and we are going to add an outer glow. You can even add a stroke effect if you want as well. Go ahead and click OK. So if you want to add a little bit more of a punch, you can add a color look up. So you can click on the top layer, go under your adjustment, add a color look up. 
and you can basically play with the settings to basically enrich your final image. So guys, I hope that this was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye all and have a happy Easter Sunday.